Hi, I'm Tom Catalino from Critical Link, and we're at the Photonics West show in um, San Francisco, California. I'm with uh, Gogsell from TI, TI's Vision Research. Hello. And what we're here doing today is demonstrating the Critical Link Vision Development System along with TI's stereo vision algorithms that TI has ported to that platform. Yes, we are happy to be demonstrating uh, stereo vision technology where we leverage two cameras to perceive depth. So we have a neat demo here, uh, so where we are marking an industrial safety kind of setup um, and driving an application based, based on proximity. This is our stereo vision development kit right here. And as you'll see, it features uh, two Aptina sensors on a hardware framework that allows the sensors to be uh, arranged at a variety of uh, distances from each other. This system is based on the Critical Link Vision Development uh, System Framework, which uh, consists of a three-board set. Uh, the top board is a Critical Link Mighty DSP, which is based on the TI OMAP L138, which provides both a 456 megahertz TI floating point DSP married to an ARM9 processor also running at 456 megahertz. In addition, the board features a Xilinx Spartan 6 FPGA, which is um, integrated in between the ARM slash DSP and the edge connector on this board. The first baseboard is our standard development kit for the Mighty DSP L138 product itself and provides a standard set of communication interfaces. And then below, through an expansion header that we have on the bottom of that dev kit, we have a um, an expander is really just a, a connector board which provides the digital interfaces to the two camera heads themselves. Okay, so here's a quick introduction on stereo vision. So basically a stereo vision system uses two cameras uh, to be able to infer depth. So in this case uh, we have the left camera here, right camera here feeding into the same system uh, where we will be do, doing uh, image processing and, uh, and extracting depth information. Okay, so uh, what we are showing on the screen is our, uh, is our uh, stereo vision demo uh, setup. Uh, on top of the screen we are showing the original images that come into the system. So the left image and the right image. As you see they are overlapping by a large extent but they are actually different. The cameras are displaced. Uh, what we are showing at the bottom left is our instantaneous uh, disparity image. That's the depth image that the stereo vision software is computing. What we are doing here is we are showing depth information uh, as, a, as an image intensity. So if a point is really nearby, we color it uh, a bright color, so it becomes almost white. When, a, when something is really far away, it becomes darker, grayscale, the scale, and then eventually uh, very dark. So this grayscale image is really uh, showing the uh, three-dimensional uh, depth information. So uh, depth information coming from a stereo vision system can be used for, for a variety of applications. In this case, what we have done here is uh, we have uh, we came up with a mock-up of, uh, of a cell safety system. Imagine an industrial application where you're interested in slowing down and eventually totally stopping a machine. So, uh, so with the stereo vision system, we are perceiving the depth of the objects around the system, such as my, my hand here. So when the objects are far out, uh, the light is green, that means it is safe. When we get closer to the system, uh, the light has turned yellow, and uh, actually that propeller is actually has slowed down as well. If you get really close to the system, the system uh, will totally stop the propeller and will show red light. If you go back up, it will go to yellow zone again, and then if you are out of the way, back to green. So the system is able to drive this purely by depth information. It can be somebody's hand, it can be somebody's uh, body, doesn't matter uh, what the object is.